My innovation is the development of a manufacturing protocol to make a critical piece of the COVID test kit. We did that using chemistry that's been developed in our lab for about the last two decades and culminated with this latest need. We were one of the first academic groups in the world to get into flow chemistry, which actually took about four iterations to get it right because the chemistry was very pyrophoric. It, in other words, it, it can spontaneously ignite. Even the small amounts of material that we were generating along the way were so precious at the time of the outbreak in March and April of 2020 that that material itself was actually separately trucked down the highway to the company for incorporation into the test kit. None of this would have been possible without the long hours and dedicated work of a, a strong team of postdoctoral fellows in my laboratory, led by Drs. Alec Bar, Mohammed Azada, Dr. Sepadeh Sharif, and Dr. Vladimir Semenichenko, who uh, dedicated a lot of hours and spent their time driving down the highway back and forth to Toronto Research Chemicals under the guidance of Dr. Andrew Corbett. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Professor Arturo Mackey of the School of Engineering here that also played an instrumental role in the, guiding the design of some of the uh, reactors that we created.